back. Today we're reacting to the best world in LEGO Fortnite. The game has been out for two weeks and we are checking out what people have already made. Starting with what you can see on screen here from Soph Kiwi. Guys, everything's going to be linked down in the description, but we need to check out what other people have made. I've been spending so much time in my solo world that I haven't even been seeing what other people are doing and this is insane. Also, how are they walking like? I didn't know you could walk that slow in this game, but it looks like this entire world was done in sandbox mode, which is totally fine because it's still super super impressive and yeah we're definitely gonna take some notes and learn some new strategies and building techniques one that i really like here is that tiled pathway that she's walking on right now clean touch i love that but guys look at how impressive this building is every single corner lines up perfectly every building is symmetrical but we got a ton of stuff to react to in this video so we're gonna go on to the next one but drop a like if you guys want to see more of this and also okay i thought i was done recording this video but i decided something we are going to start reacting to viewers builds and the way we're going to try to do this is very simple just upload your footage to youtube and in the title tag at casify that way it'll be super easy for me to find and react to in a future video but let's get back to this one and if you guys have ever watched star wars this might look familiar to you this is the star destroyer from star wars recreated in lego fortnite and all he used it looks like are those roofs from one of the first galleries that you get and i don't even know how he did this he actually flipped the roofs inwards and did the bottom side upside down this is insane <gasps> wait no way it actually moves it's actually moving yo that's crazy oh my goodness i would assume that you could probably put a few chests on this thing and it would be really really effective the only problem i see is i don't know if you're ever going to be able to turn this thing around so once it goes far enough it's kind of just gone for good like a fortnite if somebody's watching this please add a steering wheel i know you guys are already probably going to but something like this with a steering wheel would just be ridiculous and guys this right here might be the first ever roller coaster made in lego fortnite and it looks kind of crazy but there might be some safety concerns with this one, but let's see him actually ride it because this will be very interesting. Okay, here he goes. It looks like he's gonna ride it. So he's gotta break the foundation it's on and get onto the dynamic platform. Putting the switch down and he pushes it. Oh, yo, wait, it's staying on the track too. Oh, but it's just gonna fall off the edge. Wait, what's it gonna do? Oh, and it just falls and it breaks that was pretty cool now this next build is probably my favorite build that i've ever seen on this game so far unfortunately it's only pictures but you can see it right here oh my goodness this thing is huge three-story mansion that this guy built once again there's no video he posted this onto reddit but the rooftop looks good all of the corners connect there's actually decorations in the interior as well and he said he didn't even get the building limit which is insane because yeah if you know my world then um I wasn't so lucky. And staying on the topic of mansions, we have another one right here built out of the castle gallery. This one's got very nice attention to detail. And as you can see, the roofs line up perfectly, which is always a good sign. The build is super, super clean. He's got this courtyard section here. Interesting. I wonder what he's going to do with that. This next one is from fellow YouTuber. Yeah, it's Mara. Check her out in the description along with everyone else. But this one, it's an entire beach boardwalk with a ton of different buildings and a lot of design as well. Tons of plants and tons of decorations as you can see which really brings this place together again this one was built in sandbox mode but it doesn't take away from how impressive it is and this also gives me some ideas but with all of these props and different decorations also she left in some of the natural plants that spawn into the world so yeah that's definitely a nice touch as well i haven't really seen a lot of people do that but she's walking up to the main base now it looks like and she is now entering the main building it looks like we actually got a full-on kitchen with spark plug working it she's probably cooking up some food for the entire village that's nice i really got to finish my restaurant now that i'm seeing this because she's got the full bar set up and everything she's got side tables plants all over the place this is the best world i've seen so far oh my goodness i gotta take some notes i gotta open up my notepad and start writing down some ideas here we got the campfire out on the beach you got this insane boardwalk that just goes forever you got villagers all over the place as well this feels like a full-on beach city and yeah it's actually alive like there's people walking around there's pathways to every single building 10 out of 10 very very impressive build and a quick side note about my survival series after this video i have learned so much already just researching and my builds are about to become 10 times better you guys don't want to miss them so make sure you guys are subscribed this next one isn't a build it's an experiment with a ton of barrels of tnt he's gonna explode it and we're gonna see what happens and he throws the first one and then the screen just has an absolute earthquake and oh my gosh look at this 
They're all exploding at the exact same time and just disappearing. And it's done. Now some of the grass is burnt. I wonder how many TNT barrels it takes to kill a brute. I'm gonna have to try that soon. Now the next thing we're looking at isn't a build, but I think this is actually really useful. And full credit to Reddit user Basic Fish Guy for this unofficial villager tier list. This is apparently every single villager in the game along with their rarity. And as we can see, there's some interesting ones. Frozen Peely and Frozen Fish Stick. I still haven't seen those in my world, so now I know that I have to do some exploring to find them. And this is so useful. I'm actually gonna show you guys on screen Screen right now what he wrote out as where you will be able to find each of these villagers but back to builds oh my this guy is very creative we got chess and lego fortnite before gta 6 that's crazy no nah, but this is actually really cool because he used the sculptures that actually look like pawns that you would use in a game of chess pretty creative this next one i don't think is a build i lied again but it's called cow swimming in the snow well okay he didn't lie. The cow is definitely swimming in the snow. There's something wrong with him. Lego Fortnite, somebody's got to look into this. Uh, if I saw that in my world, I might be terrified. And this man right here built a modern mansion ice castle. As you can see, he's on the top of an ice hill and he has this insanely modern mansion with a ton of giant windows. And let's take a good look at it while he gives us a tour. As he walks through the front door though, you can see that there's just a ton of different ways you can go. There was a staircase, but it looks like he's flying straight up to the oh that's the roof of the bedroom i really like what he did with the pillars here on the walls as well it gives it this interesting window effect that i've never seen anybody do before but for the most part i think this is the only room that actually has any sort of decoration the rest is pretty empty still a very impressive build shout out to the snow mega mansion down in the description you can check out all these videos now this next one here is a modern castle built in creative mode once again but still very very impressive as you can see there's a ginormous walkway and this is built over a lake as well, so there's not going to be a lot of skeletons if you were playing in survival. Skeletons are really freaking annoying. So this looks like it's very well guarded, and as you open these doors, you're entering a super secure castle base. Tons of stuff going on. There's even archery practice, like those targets that I built in my world. Man, this is sick again. Oh my goodness. These are giving me such good ideas for my world. But he's got the farm up here with the natural trees built in. Looks like he's got a few different rooms that he can use for storage. Um, um, just a little box room it looks like but yeah he could probably put storage in there and it looks like he's got one on the other side as well pretty cool but it looks like he is about to enter one of the two bases and oh a ton of tier two chests pretty good pretty nice um he's got some gem cutters Ooh, even more storage under that could be really sick for hidden storage wow okay and then it looks like there's trees that are growing inside of it which is really unfortunate because other than that this base is basically perfect he's got all of his crafting benches here and then entering the other room it looks like this is more of the one where he lives in because he's got a kitchen and a bathroom and some shelving a lot of places to hang out and there's a door right there i want him to go oh wait is that another secret room under the staircase it looks like he's gonna go through it no way oh it's a bathroom it's like a harry potter bathroom under the staircase that's hilarious i thought it was going to be hidden storage but it's not that hidden so it's kind of smart that he put a bathroom there he's got some storage actually on these shelves and this entire kitchen area man i gotta level up my builds guys this has been very eye-opening for me and i'm sure a lot of you guys as well so if you want to see me continue reacting to these be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know by subscribing as well i know you guys are loving the survival series but i definitely want to make more lego fortnite content outside of that so yeah if this is a format you guys would like to see in the future let me know and in the last one that we will be watching today this guy built a working catapult in other words a trebuchet um i don't know what you would call this actually but basically you put something on the back of this and you can yeet it onto the other side so he's throwing down a platform and some foundations and as you break the platform he loads up the trebuchet and he can launch it all the way over to the castle that's absolutely insane just a crazy invention that people are making and um the builds are only gonna get crazier so make sure you're subscribed so you never miss one of the future mind-blowing lego fortnite builds that will show on this channel and in the holiday spirit comment your epic down below because if you don't have v bucks i'm gonna hook some of you guys up with v bucks i just bought some from the store so we'll go ahead and give those away just a little gift for watching till the end so yeah just make sure you're subscribed and like the video but that's gonna do it for me today thank you so, so much for watching peace